What's going on everyone? I know it's been a while since I've done an episode of Ask Dom, but here we are and I reached out to you on Twitter and Instagram. You sent in some questions and I'm here to answer them. So let's get started. First up, we have Tech Rant asking, how do you feel about Apple refreshing the MacBook Pro in the summer just to release Vega graphics later? And yeah, that, that's the biggest troll ever because literally it was like, I don't even know, like four months ago, five months ago, maybe when they released the new MacBook Pros with the six core processor in it. And then just like this last week, the newer MacBook Pro with Vega graphics in it actually came up for order. And those are gonna be much better in terms of the dedicated graphics department. And so I don't even understand the strategy there. Like it seems like the first six core launch was just kind of a money grab. And then we have the actual MacBook launch, which I ordered and I'll have a video on uh, very soon at some point next week. So stay tuned for that. But it's just kind of frustrating that they do this because like, I don't know, like people just bought this new MacBook Pro and now there's an even better one that they can get their hands on. But I don't know, let me know what you think about that whole thing in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe if you're not already to catch that video when it drops on the newer MacBook. Next up we have Scott Knight asking, favorite Funko Pop you own or favorite set? So that's actually a pretty cool question because it's a nice segue to something else. But to answer your question, Scott, one second. So these guys right here are probably my favorite. They're all Freddy Funko Pops. And if you're familiar with Pops or collectibles or anything like that, then you might know a little bit about this. But my absolute favorite is the Freddy Funko social media pop. I actually like this guy a lot because I, I do a lot of social media stuff, obviously. So it just kind of fits in with what I do. And then of course I have these two guys right here, which are the, uh, White Ranger and Red Ranger Freddy Funko Pops. So it's Freddy Funko as the White Ranger and as the Red Ranger, which I got from Funko Fun Days, uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2017. But I do wanna segue into something else and I have a secret channel that a lot of you probably don't know about. Not too long ago, I started a new channel, actually just like a couple weeks back, and I'm doing videos on collectibles and pops and things like that. And a lot of you don't know about it because I haven't really announced it per se officially, but if you wanna go check it out, it's youtube.com forward slash box attack. The link is in the description as well, and I'll link to one of the videos up in the iCard in case you wanna check it out. But it's really cool stuff. I would appreciate the support if you're into that kind of stuff. Don't feel obligated to subscribe or anything, but if you like collectibles and you like pops and all kinds of nerdy stuff like that, it's definitely the place for you and I recommend that you go give it a look and some support and go follow me on Twitter on the official Box Attack accounts. All the links and everything you need will be below, so please go ahead and check that out if you're into it. And actually, the backdrop that you see behind me is actually the set for my new channel. Next up, we have Ian with Love Your Setups. What games do you play the most when you play? So that's kind of a tough thing, so like, I'm always spending so much time like making setups and computers and things like that and I really don't have a lot of time to play a lot of games. It's kind of sad actually, but when I do, I've been playing Spider-Man lately actually on PS4, um, though I haven't gotten really far because I get caught up with work and, and that's kind of the tragedy of it all. Like I said, mainly it's just been Spider-Man in the little bits of time that I can play games. And finally from 5monkey asking, aside from iOS being the lead factor preventing the iPad Pro from being a laptop replacement, what is preventing you from having it as your replacement? So I'm sure a lot of you know that I did some video editing on the iPad Pro and I intend to use it when I travel and stuff to like phone events and things like that because I can actually manage a 4K video editing workflow on my iPad Pro and I'll link to that video in the description or above or wherever you wanna check it out at. But the main reason why I can't completely dismiss and get rid of my MacBook Pro is because of specialty apps or apps that launch for an operating system that is that belongs on a computer basically. Like, so I can't just say, oh, hey, this new app or program just launched and it might help my workflow or help my productivity or this or that, because if it doesn't have an iOS app, then, well, I'm kind of out of luck. So meanwhile, that's what we need computers for. I mean, obviously we have stuff like the Surface Pro 6, that's like a tablet computer hybrid where you can get those kind of things. But as far as the iPad goes, iOS being the limiting factor, that is the limiting factor. Apps that are not going to be available for iOS. 
So that wraps it up for this episode of Ask Dom, and I appreciate all the support and everything you guys have been giving me, and definitely be sure to go follow me on social media, links below if you're not already, and check out the new channel if it's something that you're into. I will leave links down there as well. Be sure to leave your questions and stuff for me in the comment section as well, and I'll be feeding from those for the next episode, which I will try to make more frequently if you enjoy this kind of stuff, and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up to let me know that you do and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when new videos like this drop in the future but thank you so much for watching everyone this is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video